All right, next question is, how do I help my hypnosis clients to stop bad habits? For example, smoking, substance abuse, um, maybe binge eating or any type of bad habits. Great, great question. So first off, what you really want to think about as a hypnotist and a coach is that everything that our clients tell us, whether that be bad habits or whatever problem they came to us with are simply just symptoms, right? Symptoms of underlying deeply rooted problems. Now, I know that I know that you know this already at some level, but if you really wrap your mind around the fact that everything our clients give us are just symptoms. They're not the real thing. They're not the real thing that we're going to help us with. This is especially going to help uh, with bad habits um, because truth of the matter is if our clients are giving us or, or want to work on their ha uh, bad habits, right? For example, alcohol dependence or for example, you know, sugar, sugar cravings, something like that. There is a reason. There is a driver as to why they want the sugar. There's a reason as to why they want to drink alcohol, right? There's a reason why they partake in these so-called bad habits. There is a driver that um, fuels this behavior. And so as a coach and hypnotist, it is our role to find out what that that driver is what is making them do this what is stopping them from completely ending uh these bad habits and so when you go into your client sessions make sure you have this in mind you're not going to help your client stop smoking you're not helping them stop drinking alcohol you're not going to help them stop binge eating you're going to help them address the driver that leads them to do all those things and when that driver um is uh is healed or has broken through um or has shifted for them then the actual bad habits no longer have a place to sit because this driver has been shifted the unconscious mind has already uh has been given a new choice as to how to act and feel behave or identify themselves as and so it so really instead of focus on the symptoms instead of looking for a hypnosis script on stopping smoking how to stop drinking, how to stop scrolling on social media endlessly. Um, instead of looking for those, focus your attention instead on how to help your clients see what their driver is with regards to why they want to engage in those behaviors, because that is going to transform your clients' lives more. How can it not, right? And because the one, the way we do one thing is the way we do everything, by helping them to really address that inner driver, that inner drive, whatever it is that is unique to each and every person, then you're going to help your clients um, transcend that effect in every area of their life. Um, and for them, it might just first show up as smoking, but the the reasons why they're smoking is, pro is the same as how they would um, act in, in certain ways in other areas of their life. So instead of focusing on the symptom, focus on the driver that is causing them to act out this symptom. Uh, and then that is when your client results are going to get better. And this is probably one of the most challenging things to wrap our minds around because it is so very easy to empathize with our clients and when our clients talk to us about their problems, uh, then it's very easy to get sucked in, right? Like, for example, um, my clients were uh, women who had just left fairly toxic relationship relationships and I do really feel for them right it's so uh, easy to get sucked into their stories um but my role was to really to detach in the most caring way and loving way and really look into the driver uh, as to how how or why they really want to go back to the toxicity to begin with and and work on these inner things that again are going to be unique with each and every person the reason why i say the reason why i don't say um it's because my clients don't feel good enough is because to be quite honest i have not proven that to be true i uh, the, the clients that i work with who have left toxic relationships have barely um gone into full childhood um 
memories, uh, sometimes not all the time, very, very small percentages, um, because the work isn't about looking at the past is, is it is through exploring how they, um, feel about the problem now and the things that their mind has associated, uh, with their symptom now and, and using that as, as the, the thing to to focus on so that that driver that led them to want to go back to the toxic relationship if if i i if we focus on that those reasons then it's al almost effortless they they don't feel the need to go back like they convince themselves <laughs> that they don't need to come back which is a lot more powerful than uh just telling them to leave or um going back to their childhood which we can't a hundred percent prove uh, that for each and every person, that, that would be 100% the case. And so um, I hope this helped. And if you have any questions at all, let me know and I will see you soon.